YouTube is probably the best tool for activists trying to share the truth with the world. I started my channel over five months ago, had virtually no experience editing videos or making videos, and it's grown insanely fast and helped a lot of people. So I thought I'd share all the best advice I can give for others who want to help the world through YouTube. The first step is to create a channel. You'll need a Gmail account, then you'll need to go to YouTube and create a channel. Spend some time creating a memorable name that will stand out and show the kind of videos you'll be making. Then spend an hour or so putting up a profile picture and writing something in the about section. If you have other social media platforms, you can include them. And it's not essential to create channel art straight away, but when you've got the time you can look up tutorials on how to make good ones and use PicMonkey to create them. Now you need to create your first video. At this stage, assuming you have no experience making videos, don't worry about being perfect. Just upload something. Keep learning and go from there. Good first videos can include what I eat in a day videos, my story videos, and why I'm vegan videos, but it's all up to you. In terms of equipment, at the first stage just use whatever you have to create something. If you wait until you have amazing editing skills and equipment, you'll never get anywhere. Phone cameras are definitely the best option for beginners. I still use my iPhone camera to record video and the quality is fine. If you have money to spend, the Canon G7X is used by a lot of YouTubers, but you can just look around for whatever suits your needs. If you don't have a camera stand, put your phone or camera up on something or use a selfie stick. Now you just need to record the video. Try to record in a place with good lighting. You can use things like lamps to help with lighting too, but just experiment and see what looks good. Once you have the file, you'll need to do some basic editing. If you're using your phone, you can edit through the YouTube Capture app. For iPhones and other Apple devices, you can use iMovie, which is perfect for making YouTube videos. But if you're using a Windows computer, Windows Movie Maker is free and works for very basic editing. So if that's all you can get, then just use it. If you want to buy software, a good amateur editing software is Sony Vegas Movie Studio, which you can get for about £20 or $30. US dollars. But the best software for creating professional edits is Adobe Premiere Pro, Sony Vegas Pro and Final Cut Pro. To enhance your videos, use images found from the internet and use clips downloaded from YouTube. You're free to use virtually any clips on YouTube and I'm happy for you to use any of my videos to help illustrate your points, like my 60 second videos. I'll leave a link to a good YouTube downloader below. And use background music. You can use some copyrighted music if you want, but if you want to monetize your videos, you can use music from YouTube's collection. You can go on SoundCloud and use music that people give permission to use. You can find royalty free classical music from sites like MuseOpen. And also, if you type in royalty free music into YouTube and use an MP3 downloader to download it, you can use that too. You can also look up covers of songs and use them, just make sure you credit the performers. And you can create intros and outros eventually with info about you or more information, but you can work on that as you get going. So once you've rendered a video, you need to upload it to YouTube. Firstly, add an attention grabbing title. Try to be original with it, because a what I eat in a day video won't get you many views, as there are millions of those kinds of videos around. Create viral style titles to help get videos out there. Look at successful YouTubers and take inspiration from the way that they use titles. Then write a description. Keep in mind that the first few lines are displayed when people search for your video, so make it stand out. Also realise that the words in there help people find your videos, so the more the better. And it's helpful to have a default description with useful links and instructions. Here's what I use for my videos at the moment. Then use tags which are relevant to the video. And then either choose a thumbnail from the suggested three or create your own. For your first video, you don't need to worry about the thumbnail too much, but as you progress, you'll want to spend time making clearer ones so that you can get the video noticed. I recommend using something free like Pixlr to create them. The size is 2080 by 720. Use bright bold colours, clear text and images of yourself or images relevant to your video. You can also just edit the thumbnail from your editing software and take high quality screenshots of it. You can also just use images taken from Google as thumbnails. Just be creative with it. Add a brief message to your video and then add it to a relevant playlist. I recommend making a few playlists eventually with videos that others may find helpful. You can also divide your videos into topics. But most importantly, make an all videos playlist and put every new video in that so that when you share the link on other social media platforms, the next video in the playlist will play when the first is finished, which will help increase views. And finally, you might want to add things like annotations. So when all that's sorted, you can just upload the video. Here's a clip from my first video, which just showed what I ate on that day. Okay, so 
got a long day tomorrow. Got about um, 15 hours out of the house. So I was thinking what I'm going to bring with me. This is all I'm going to have. Pretty rough, till four style. Um, so yeah. People always wonder what I'm having, so. And you might as well verify your account so that you can upload longer videos and also create a Google AdSense account so that you can monetize your videos. But you'll soon realize that you won't initially get many views even if your content is really good. So here's some tips on growing your channel as fast as possible. Comment on as many vegan videos as possible. Find smaller channels and support them grow too. Write funny or intelligent comments on popular channels and people will click on your channel eventually and subscribe. Have a good channel trailer. But you don't have to make a video specifically to advertise your channel. If I was looking at someone's channel, I'd much rather see their best video on there, but it's up to you. Also be consistent. When you first start, try to upload at least three to four videos a week. Daily is best if you can. When I started for the first couple of months, I tried to make daily videos and then slowed down and put more time into editing later. And you can upload and monetize any of my videos if it helps with consistency. And it also makes sense to upload some useful speeches and videos that may help other people. But as you learn more, prioritize the production value of your videos. Most vegan YouTubers don't spend much time editing, which is okay, but videos are more shareable and visually engaging if you put the time into editing them. And you can say that you don't know how to edit, but if you spend 100 hours editing one video, making use of YouTube tutorials as you go, you will get very good very fast. And it helps to occasionally make a video that's extremely powerful and well made, because that will get more views and will help gain a lot of subscribers. For example, my YouTubers that promote eating disorders video was uploaded after two months of being on YouTube. It took about a month to create, but has gone viral. It took about 30 hours to research and script, an hour to film, and at least 100 hours to edit. The video quality itself was relatively poor, but the content was good and I put the time in. So after a few months, it's reached over 150,000 views on my channel and has been shared by other YouTubers, including Freely. So make something like that and see where it takes you. Also use other platforms to help spread your videos like blogs, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. There are hundreds of vegan Facebook groups, even one called Team Vegan Takes YouTube. So share your videos there. In terms of content, Try to create original videos, but also take inspiration from other YouTubers and copy their ideas. Everyone does it, so don't feel ashamed in it. And it will help to reach more people if you make videos about famous people. You can make a helpful video saying why a certain celebrity should go vegan, and you will gain more views and subscribers from it, and possibly help fans of those celebrities to go vegan. And if you're going to create a clickbait video, make sure it's crammed with tons of reasons to go vegan. Otherwise, it's just pointless. I'd also recommend adding a link to something like Earthlings or a useful speech at the end. So as you go, you'll get better with editing, get better equipment, and learn what kind of videos work best for your channel. But it's a learning process that never ends. In the five months of being on YouTube, I've reached about 9,000 subscribers and almost 300,000 views. So anything's possible. The thing about YouTube is that you can help people while you sleep. You can help people all around the world and it's so easy to do.